Since the Barrymores were the royal family of the theater, the royal family of Hollywood has always been the Fairbanks. Douglas Fairbanks Jr. is an international figure. He's as at home at the White House as he is at Buckingham Palace, as he is in a movie or a television studio. Always a pleasure to welcome to the show. Please greet him, Mr. Douglas Fairbanks Jr. <laughs> It's always a pleasure to see you, Mr. Fairbanks. Well, wonderful to see you. We meet on both sides of the ocean. We certainly do. Right? We certainly do. I had a nice visit in your home, which we've talked about, but it was... I uh, should say, I remember well, hope you're going to do it again soon. Oh, One side or the other, you didn't this home or that home. You not say that, Mr. Fairbanks, but I'll be there next Tuesday and... Oh. No, 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 you're kidding. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you're looking... You travel an awful lot. Oh, God, I should say. I never More stopped. than anybody I know. Well, I started off when I was five months old and I happened to stop my family took me abroad when I was five months and haven't stopped since. Where, uh, where would they take you at five months? Well, they took, took me first to England and then to France. My parents, my grandparents had a place over there as well as here, and so I was just taken over to it. Where was school for you? Was it in America? Well, both sides, yeah. Here in New York and on the other side as well, and then out in California and France as well. I was dragged up. I wasn't brought up. <laughs> that's, that's great, though, because that means that you have uh, friends all over the world. Well, yeah, you have, a, you have acquaintances and you have companions. Friends are, are um, so rare, aren't they? I mean, if you're going to take the word seriously, uh, you may have three or four or two. How or many one. do you have, Mr. Burns? Uh, friends? Yes. Quite a number. A big number? No, a small number. <laughs> oh, just a small number. <laughs> but I it's a number. <laughs> I guess that's true. Uh, you can really count. But how do you... Do, do, uh, uh, how do you... Uh, differentiate between friends and associates? You count them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, that no, no, has to be more substance to, than that, right. you realize. The heart and, and, do it your and way. warmth. Oh. Do it your way. <laughs> well, I don't know, how, how do you count? I don't know. Well, that's what I mean. <laughs> it's very well, as a matter of fact, it, it's a pretty good um, uh, cue in to the best answer given, I think, was, um, I think we talked about it some time ago. I think uh, your taxi is back. <laughs> <laughs> um, Waiting remember for you. No. <laughs> <laughs> you remember uh, Kipling's Kipling's definition of a of a friend? You remember that? No. I remember tramp, tramp, tramp. Or, yeah. <laughs> boots, boots, boots. Boots, 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 boots. 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 What was his? Well, Kipling wrote a poem about friendship. I think it was one of the one of the best um, definite way of defining it and saying it a real uh, called the thousandth man. You don't know that one? No. Well, that's a perfect cue in then. Can you do a little? Sing. Try. One man in a thousand, Solomon says, will stick more close than a brother, and it's worthwhile seeking him half your days if you find him before the other. Nine hundred and ninety-nine depend on what the world sees in you, but the thousandth man will stand your friend with the whole round world agin you. Tis neither promise nor prayer nor show will settle the finding for ye, 999 of them go by your looks, or your acts, or your glory. But if he finds you, and you find him, the rest of the world don't matter. For the thousandth, thousandth man will sink or swim with you in any water. You can use his purse with no more talk than he uses yours for his spendings, and laugh and meet in your daily walk as though there had been no lending. 999 of them call for silver and gold in their dealings. But the thousandth man, he's worth them all because you can show him your feelings. His wrongs, your wrong. His rights, your right. In season or out of season. Stand up and back it in all men's sight with that for your only reason. 999 can't bide the shame or mocking or laughter but the thousandth man will stand by your side to the gallows foot and after. Oh, that's marvelous. That's great. Right. Right. Beautiful. 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 Beautiful.